the damn thing like cars in it. Remember the first cars in it? He had one of these things. <laughs> You seem to have made a little bit of a mistake. Ah, it set me wild to hear that loving tune again, the Memphis Blues. Going up. That's where you want to get out. You want to get out there. No, yeah. that's... That was the first floor. Are we supposed to be in the lobby? Welcome back, Sun Chasers, to another episode. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here. We're checking out a Cabana Bay right now in Orlando. It's a resort, part of Universal. We thought it was really cool. It was like a retro kind of 50s inspired. We didn't get to spend a huge amount of time there, but we're checking out. But unfortunately, it's our last couple of days in St. Pete, which is sad. But we're trying to pack in as much as we can to have the last best couple of days. But we have our yard to pick up, a bus to pack up, and we're gonna be on our way to Texas. So today's episode is gonna kind of be a little bit all over the place, but uh, let's get to it. Wow, it's just a little dark out here right now. But there is a big uh, comedy festival going on here in St. Pete this weekend. We recently got connected with Coastal Creative, which is a big studio here um, right in downtown St. Pete. And they are actually um, a major venue for this whole comedy festival. And uh, they invited us out, gave us some free tickets. So we're going to go uh, check out the show tonight and uh, see how it goes. I've been to a few comedy clubs before. Um but nothing this size that's gonna have some big names coming through, so we'll give it a shot. The hot summer day down here. This thing, like, other than dinosaurs pecking the leaves off of this thing at one time in life, you see all the tentacles that hang yeah, off yeah. of it? It's like an upside down jellyfish. Mm -hmm. well, that's a good analogy I just came up with. <laughs> you can actually swing on the damn thing oh, like really? Tarzan. Really? Remember the first Tarzan? <laughs> he had one of these things. <laughs> Ultimate backyard jungle gem. So he was swinging vine to vine and so can you. So it's probably the most magical, wonderful thing I've ever seen. Have you ever swung from the vines? Myself personally, I was able to get three. And hit the ground. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> Not for long. <laughs> I think the whole transaction has about a second and a half. <laughs> One, two, four. Oh, that's what they say about tequila. I don't drink that shit either. Don't drink the wines and don't drink tequila. The like a whole thing is on the floor. <laughs> Do you think I would get 
Fresh out. My name is not right. Thank you, Sam. Oh good, yeah. yeah that works. What the f happened to my hair? You. Oh my god. I wanted you to call it live. I wanted you to live. I wanted to too, but did you see everybody in my team go? They're pushing on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call live right now. You know, honestly, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, I shouldn't have touched upon that. We're all getting all made. Hey, what's up? I'm Harvey Weinstein, and this is MTV's Punk. Check them out on OnlyFans. All right, how do you think the night went? Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> kind of lost for words. I'm not entirely sure. All right, so this is the first time that we ever heard Troy Bond. Yes. I'm yeah. not sure if this is the last time that we're ever going to hear Troy Bond first either. First time we've ever really done a comedy show, too. That actually is Which true. is an important piece of information. Yeah. Yes. We went in there. Blind, no expectations. Blind. We laughed at a lot of jokes. Um, didn't laugh at a lot of jokes. Didn't, la didn't laugh at some jokes. Yeah. We think that we, we might have lost, might, might have seen someone lose their job too. So <laughs> that might be, uh, <laughs> I'm curious to wake up tomorrow and see uh, see what that looks like. <laughs> well, that's about it. <laughs> I just stepped outside. Look how foggy it is. Can't even see nothing. It feels like we're now officially in Florida. This is humid out here. Hello. That's better. I'm like, welcome to the Sunshine City, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> trying to chase the sun and stay peep. It's running away from us. Yeah. Our cups are yellow. We're trying to, or at least yours is. You're bringing some of the light in. <laughs> I feel like this started to happen like literally an hour ago, though. I mean, we are currently walking onto the St. Pete's Pier. We're gonna go see what the pier has to offer us. The love you The bear with the Maddie, what's the giant net behind you? Um, that's art. Okay. <laughs> so I, I think it's the giant hammock. Hammock for the squirrels. No, hammock for me. I just gotta find a way up there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. With the way that the hurricane moves, like it pushes water up and all this is completely underwater. That must be terrifying to see. I know, and the, really the part down there where there's volleyball nets and stuff, mm -hmm. that was like, didn't exist. Oh, really? It was crazy. Yeah, it's weird when like the seawater's in the roads and stuff. But I think Shaw? it's kind of a vibe. You're like waterfront property? Yeah. House yeah. value going up? <laughs> Where's Scooby? <laughs> Right, got the bus out, cleaned it all up, we're driving. This little dude decides to pop out. And now he's scared for his life. He doesn't know what to do. Look at him. Did you see him move when you put the camera on him? I don't want him to fly off though. But I can't help him. I mean I could. I could climb up there and try to get him. Little dude's going for a ride. So wow, all uh, right. If we need to get some WD-40 for this door, have you hear that? Squeaky door. Time is out right now with a friend doing a little bit of shopping. I haven't even told her this yet, but we seem to have made a little bit of a scheduling mistake. For some reason, I thought we were leaving here, this spot that we have the bus parked at right now, which is an awesome spot. We've loved staying here so far. But we had both thought that we had scheduled this till the 29th. And for some reason in my head, I thought the 29th was Friday. Turns out the 29th is tomorrow. Friday is the first. So instead of leaving, in two days from now on Friday, we have to leave here tomorrow. Which isn't a huge deal, it's you know, one day, but that just means that we have one day less of, you know, emptying our tanks, filling up our water tanks, getting all of our batteries set, um, our last day of having just good plug-in power. Yeah, I guess that makes us a little bit more on a crunch time, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be interesting. So, Macbox. Sent us another bike. If you don't know what Macbox is, is this e-bike company. Uh, this is the fourth bike that they sent us now. This might be one of my favorites because of the brown old tires and actually a brown seat too. Put this thing together and uh, hey, take, it, take it with us. You, so. missed the, you missed a tire. Better not break my nail. I'm loving this brown seat. I was gonna say before I ripped it that it was like a giant hairnet. <laughs> He's hit me right there. <laughs> I think it's a kickstand. Oh. All right, we're gonna put this tire on. Oh. First box we got charger pedals. Bunch of nuts and bolts. Probably don't need those. And what do you think goes in there? And then in our in our second box we got. 
headlight. That's look at that grill on that. I That's was just gonna cool. say. Well, the manual's in Chinese, so that doesn't really help much. Let me make sure I put this on so it bends inwards and not outwards. Imagine you have a bump and it doesn't bend that, that way. It just launches you. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it wouldn't be the first time that I'd be launched. Scar to prove it. <laughs> Found out what the little clips were for. I really like this bike a lot. I like the headlight and I like like the brown tires. It just looks very like, like vintage almost, but it's not. Brand new. If you want to get one for yourself, we'll leave the link down in the description. Go get yourself one. Oh, I love the feel. Boom. <laughs> she almost just ran into the car. Yeah, I'm going fast like a like a Corvette. Dude, this is fast. Holy crap. <laughs> Welcome back to another coffee time with time. We are out here today at the Summer Moon Coffee. We've heard this is a, a chain that's supposedly better than Starbucks, better than Dunkin'. It's a pretty big growing chain. We're here in uh, Oak Hill and uh, they don't have breakfast sandwiches, so I guess I'm out of this episode, but they do have some moon milk coffee. So we're gonna give that a shot, I guess. So I've heard some mixed things about this place. I've heard, you gotta try Summer, Summer Moon. You gotta go get their coffee. The menu's a bit confusing. It's like Summer Moon, Winter Moon, Half Winter Moon. Um, apparently that means that it's like the level of sweetness, so I was a little, didn't really know what to get. Um, there's also like a blue milk, a blue moon latte. So we went with a half winter moon latte, but sub oat milk. I have no idea what flavor, I don't know what the sweetness is. Color looks good. Here goes nothing. I'm a little nervous to be honest. Whoa, that's pretty good. Kind of just getting vanilla. I like the sweetness level of it though. Wow, Summer Moon, you guys kind of kind of shocked me on that. It's better than I thought it was gonna be. No offense to Summer Moon. <laughs> We're gonna go 7.5. 7.5, Summer Moon. It's pretty good. I'll come back. <laughs> Perfect. Mac Fox, Mac, Mac Fox. These mosquitoes are bad. So I'm looking at the locations for Summer Moon and you're telling me that I could have gotten a summer moon coffee back in South Carolina. Look at these location lists. 